Hello treasures, welcome back to Dr. Bisa's Corner where your total well-being is treasured. So on today's episode, we'll be talking about how to control blood pressure naturally. If you've not seen these videos, four things you need to know about hypertension and heart healthy foods, then you do you should try to check them out after watching this video. So who are those that should watch this video? If you have a family member, a relative who already has hypertension, maybe your grandfather, your grandmother, your father, your mother, your auntie, or your uncle, then you should continue watching this video to the end so you see ways you can control the, your blood pressure naturally. Also, if you've already developed the illness, then you should keep watching this video so you also see other ways to control your blood pressure naturally. Then if you have a family friend, a relative, a friend who has hypertension then you should keep watching this video i'll be right back it is important to know that lifestyle modification is very important in controlling high blood pressure what do i mean behavioral and nutritional modifications are very important in reducing the risk of developing blood, high blood pressure or controlling it if it is already there. Another thing is, that is important to note is that you need your doctor whenever you want to practice any of these natural remedies out there. If you already have a, a health condition, maybe diabetes or any other health condition or even the hypertension we are talking about, then your healthcare provider should be with you on this journey. As you are learning, you should be able to meet him or her and ask questions. So let's get right into this video. So how do we control blood pressure naturally? Number one, reduce salt intake. Reduce salt intake. It is advised that we take at least or at most one teaspoon of salt a day. So what it means is that whatever food you want to eat all through the day, at least one teaspoon of salt. Number two, we stop smoking. Stop smoking. Smoking is a big risk factor for so many diseases, of which hypertension is one of it. Number three, reduce alcohol consumption. Reduce alcohol consumption. Number four, lose weight. Lose weight. If you're on the big side or you're, you're almost in the obesity, spectrum, then it is very important that you work on your weight and reduce your weight. Your healthcare provider can help you find out the weight that is right for your height and your body frame and also your abdomen to check your abdominal fats by measuring your abdominal circumference to know whether it is appropriate for your sex and for your age. Another thing you need to do is to exercise 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 is totally different from losing weight so if you are slim like me you also need to exercise so you are advised to exercise at least 30 minutes for five times a week but now if you already have a health condition especially hypertension or a heart related illness it is important to involve your healthcare care practitioner or your healthcare provider why to help you choose the exercise that is appropriate for your health. So what do I mean? If you already have a cardiovascular illness, then it is important that your doctor helps you to find the right exercise for you. Also, if you've not been someone that's been exercising, you are advised to start in beats. Instead of going for 30 minutes a day, you can try five minutes and now increase it that way and that's that for exercise another thing is take foods rich in magnesium magnesium is very important in in controlling our blood pressure because it takes care of the vessels so take new foods that rich in magnesium I remember one of the examples we said earlier is sunflower seeds so if you've not watched that video do it to go check it out another thing you can take that will help you control your blood pressure naturally is eat foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like i said earlier we've already done a video on heart healthy foods and one of the examples of those food is salmon fish we also talked about avocados and olive oil then another thing you need to do is to reduce caffeine intake 
reduce caffeine intake. Then, it is also important that you sleep at least six hours every night. At least six hours every night. Another important way to control your blood pressure naturally is to meditate. I love this one because meditation is very good for the mind and the soul. Get a time of the day you relax. You take deep breaths in and you breathe out for at least 15 minutes. All of these three keys helps you in controlling your blood pressure naturally. God bless you. Till I come your way next time, I am Dr. Bisa and I value you. Bye. Do well to subscribe if you've not subscribed and turn on your notification bell. Thank you. Share this video, like it.